Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here on Blackpool Promenade. I'm on Middle Walk, which is just north of the town. You can see the tower there in the background. So I'm about, well, about a quarter of a mile away, north of the tower, not that far away. And um, this is just a quick video just to show you that we've got an absolutely beautiful, <laughs> we've just had an amazing, uh, sunset. I'll actually just show you some video of the sunset. It was absolutely amazing. Incredible just watching the sun go down from here. Uh, there's no better place to do it. And not only that, but it was also clear enough to be able to see the Isle of Man. It was absolutely amazing. It was so, so clear. We could see Snowdonia, the Lake District, and of course the Isle of Man. It was absolutely amazing. And anyway, after that, We've now got this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? We've got a really nice waxing crescent moon. It's only a few days old. I'll just turn the camera around to give you a look at that. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I'm going to zoom in a little, a little bit. So we can see some things out there like gas rigs and things on, on the horizon. There's, there's a lot going on out there, but look at that moon. Can you see how? We've obviously got a waxing crescent there, but you might just be able to see, we can see the whole disc of the moon. Now that's an effect known as earth shine, where the earth reflects sunlight back towards the moon and the unlit part of the moon is lit up by that sunlight, which is reflected back from earth. Yeah, so that effect of the moon we were able to see the whole disc and the unlit part of the moon lit up is us, the sunlight, hitting the earth back to the moon and lighting it up and creating that really nice earth shine effect. And I want to show you how to get a picture of it. I've got my camera here. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so here we are. I've got my camera here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this off here. So can you see that now? I've got the moon in the frame. I'm only using a 200 millimeter lens, so it does look fairly small. But what I'll do is I'll just zoom in now just to show you what I'm doing. I'll just zoom in on the screen. So if I use the, the, the zoom button there to, to make it a bit bigger in the frame. And look at that now. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? I'll just center it up. So I've focused the, the camera on the moon, which is fairly easy. You, might, you know, the autofocus does a fairly decent job of, of uh, focus. There's even a star there. Can you see there's a star to the top left hand corner? That looks absolutely amazing. And can you see if I adjust the exposure, if I make it dark, I can bring the moon out. It's uh, the craters of the moon. Can you see? So if I come back now, if I do 1 60th of a second or 100th of a second, I can take a picture for the crater. So I'll just do that now. Now, I've just taken a picture for the craters there. So this was 1 200th of a second. So if you look at this now, Can you see, we've got detail in the craters there. So that's how to take a picture for the craters. We're going to use a fast exposure, but can you see, we can't see the earth shine on this photograph. It's completely dark. So what we need to do is, if I come back out of there again and I reduce the exposure, can you see? I'm reducing it now. And as I keep reducing it, can you see how things brighten up? Now we're down to half a second. And now, can you see, we've now got the earth shine look at that so this is a half second exposure now so if i take the same picture again using half a second i'll put it on the self timer i'll wait for it to take the picture it's taking the picture now now i'll zoom in on that now look at this can you see this is what i mean earth shine there you go doesn't that look absolutely amazing? I'll put the main picture on the screen now so you can have a look at it. It looks absolutely awesome. 
So there you go, that was my little video just showing you how to get a, a good picture of a crescent moon and get that amazing earthshine effect by making the exposure longer and overexposing the lit part of the moon. Doing away with that and making sure that you get that detail on the unlit part of the moon which is of course lit up by the earth reflecting the sunlight back isn't it absolutely amazing it looks absolutely awesome um so there you go i hope you like the video and i hope you uh, get the chance to do it yourself yeah. anyway the next time that the moon's a crescent like this and you want to have a go yourself i've given you a bit of an idea there haven't i uh, but yeah it's been an absolutely awesome evening here now uh, i'm probably just going to pack up now anyway if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again next time.